Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're going to learn what XML is and why we should use it. So, XML was designed to store and transport data. XML language has no predefined tags. It stands for Extensible Markup Language, which means it lets you define your own tags. And XML separates information from presentation. All right, let me explain what all that means in more detail. So XML was designed to store and transport data. And uh, on the right hand side here, you can see the example of a simple XML document. So here what we're doing is we are describing the data. And um, since XML language has no predefined tags and it lets us create our own tags, uh, we are describing the data of uh, whatever information we have. So here you can s you can see that we have a product listing and we have a product tags. Then we have a name of the product, we have a description of the product, the cost of the product, and the shipping cost. So all of that is uh, readable by humans and we understand, when a human reads this information, we understand exactly what the information is about. In this case, we have a, a listing of products and we have a name and description, cost and shipping of the products. So that's what the XML is designed to do. It's designed to store and describe information. And uh, we can, since it's an extensible markup language, which means we can create our own tags, uh, we can use whatever tags we like so we can name these tags anything we like and um, as long as it accurately describes the data so unlike HTML yeah, XML doesn't have a predefined tag so shipping doesn't look like anything in a browser and uh, that is not to display this information is not the job of the XML that's what the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is designed to do. So again, XML's primary job is to separate information from presentation. And um, if you look down here under XML structure, you can see um, how the XML document is structured. And uh, these, these elements are also called nodes in, a, in XML. So here we have a root element or a root node called product listing. So th this structure is uh, described in this uh, XML document on the right hand side. Um, further down we have a child of the root element which is a product. So the, the, the child is sitting right underneath the root element. Down here at the very bottom we have another child of the root element which is also a sibling of the first product. So since both of these products are on the same tree level, they're considered siblings. Just like all of these nodes here, since they're all on the same tree level, they're all each other's siblings. And they're also children of the product node because they're all under the product node describing what the product uh, actually is, which has name, description, price, and shipping. So that is called XML logical structure, and it further explains or organizes our XML data. All right, so let's quickly look at the example. So this is uh, the XML um, document that we just looked at, and you can see that we have a product under uh, product listing, which is a root element, and the child element is a product. Then we have the name, description, cost, and shipping, and we have another product and another one. So, so that is just a simple XML document with three products, and uh, it's easy to understand with the description, cost, and shipping. So if we look in the browser, this is what the actual XML document looks like, and you can see up here that this XML file does not appear to have any style information associated with it. So we don't have a CSS, which is uh, going to translate this information into a, a, a uh, 
presentation layer which then the user can view so this is primarily for storing our data now and uh, <clears throat> if you click on these arrows over here under a root element it's going to collapse all the other nodes uh, letting us know that uh, this is the main primary node and all the other nodes live underneath of this um, root node and we can do the same thing with uh, all the children nodes underneath product listing. If we click on the product arrow, it's going to collapse all the children elements underneath the product. So that just um, makes it really easy to navigate information and, uh, and just understand what we're trying to do with all the information. So that is what XML is. It's designed to store and transport data. We can organize our information and understand exactly what the information is about. We can then write CSS, HTML, JavaScript to create the presentation layer so that our v users can view that information in a browser or whatever devices they're using. We can also transport that information across web services. And um, again, it has no predefined tags and allows us to create our own tags. So it's a really handy way of uh, storing and transporting data across the internet. And that's it for this XML tutorial for beginners. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.